Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. And we are getting attacked left and right, left and right, left and right, front and center. Uh, the Pandorans seem to be everywhere. On the flip side, that is a great option for uh, getting rewards. This time we need to fight off seven of them. And we got a semi-injured team, <clears throat> including Dilly G, who is pretty injured. I should have healed at the end of last mission, but yeah, whatever. Good. So, let's see. Might as well start Nothing that can't be with healing Dilly. So 200, uh, we are <coughs> semi-okay with the rest. I would argue though that Euler could definitely use some healing as well. Give me a minute. And even Grell. It's never good if you need to start your mission with uh, putting on a lot of health. Rolling. Good. He in the butcher owns. Let's put him here. There are civilians, I don't know what the advantage is of controlling them. To my understanding, they can't fight. But a disciple here, on the other hand, can fight and will fight. Tell you what, we're not taking that shot. Instead, I would like to overwatch. I'm on overwatch. Ah, Dranks, what are we going to do with you? Haven't spotted anyone out yet. For now, I think we can just carefully and very defensive stay here and wait. Now we want to hit the leg. Damage shield, shield destroyed, and he is bleeding. Well, we were hitting the shield at the end of the day. Good, Dilly needs to get to a high ground. <coughs> I hate this. Oh! Gosh, I hate them. No, 
the siren. Okay, so that's our main target right there. Overwatch really hasn't worked that well. So the disciple here. Ready to fire. Maybe does have a medkit. It's unclear. Are we wasting a medkit on him? I think we should. It's not wasting, so I can. Ready to fire. Taking to try again. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you. Good. We want another shot. Good. Dilly has solved our problems. Ready to roll. Receiving. Now, let's move up. Like a phoenix. Heal our friend, remove the poison damage, and we're good, she. Proceeding. I have to wonder, is that too aggressive? Potentially okay. Spotted a few enemies. I would like to stay here for now. Good, that's some damage. Not a lot, but okay. On my way. I'll be right there. Ready to rock. Very nice. Good. Let's disable the arm. <coughs> and we should be okay. Now, Dilly. Overwatches. Ah. And as long as we're bombarded with these stupid worms, Dilly will not be able to get to a high ground. I appreciate that this assault here is dealing an incredible amount of damage though. So although it's not us dealing the damage, we're still doing fine. Okay, the siren definitely needs to die. And we can see where the majority of the enemies are coming from. They are in this choke point. One, two, hit. I think we can get out.
Oh yeah, that was that worked well. Watch out, I'm moving in. Using our expendable troops. The disciple assault uh, disciple assaults. Identify threat eliminated. To deal with these uh, things, where are the worms? The worm on the rooftop cannot come down. I already know that. Taking aim. Good, Dilly is working with his gun at the moment instead of his sniper rifle. Not bad either. Ready to rock. Poacher. I think we want the siren. Nice. One of the most dangerous uh, parts of the siren is its head. Ian moves up. And Warcry would hit only the worm. Yeah, no. That's not acceptable. Nice. Pistol overboard should have triggered. Did unfortunately not trigger. get the siren nice fantastic no no yes Here I am. Let's do this. I'll be right there. Good. The cipher moves forward. One worm down. Now, ah, before we go there, all set. I'm 
going. I think that's still a worm. But somehow underneath uh, the underneath the floor. Hmm. Moving to coordinates. Good. So the moment that that worm actually comes out, we can kill it. In the meantime, we're just trying to hit as much of this thing as possible. Have we used all of our action points? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh. <coughs> yeah, just stand, stand there and hit it. We gotta get closer to that thing. There's still one invisible entity somewhere around here. Okay, we know it's there. can kill that big guy. Our points of damage. Fantastic. He moves up. And headshots it. Cool. Well, that was easier than the last defense. Got another level up. Ian is now level 6 as well. And it takes at least 4 to 5 more missions for the level 6 guys to go to level 7. They need 800 experiences, if I have seen it correctly. So if they only get 100 and odd, it's even more than that. We got ourselves a, neut a neutron pistol. Oh, that is the one for paralyzation. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, research. Good. I think it's fair to say that we want to get back. Four for six is good. Two for twelve isn't bad either. Construction complete. Good. Frozen circuit now has finally caught up with the construction. I think we're okay on the resources. 
We're okay again because we did all of uh, the defense missions. <clears throat> Fabrication plant. One, two, three. Research labs. We're really okay on the research. Uh, is fabrication now faster? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, okay, and we need these here in order to gain artifacts. So... Let's get two of the Arcology Labs. Ian got an upgrade. Onslaught. I like that Inspire. That seems just such a great ability. Melee weapon proficiency and bash. Say, instead of the shotguns, why aren't we giving all of uh, them melee weapons as well? I mean, it's two um, AP, I get it. But given that he is a brawler, we could almost make him a second Grell. Right? So... That would not be a bad idea. I really like the melee weapons and he's still fantastic with the Sinidran uh, rifles, but that'll give him something else in melee other than the shotguns. I'm not 100% um, convinced that shotguns are really, really good. I'll get Onslaught because I want to see how it works. Maybe I'm misreading it. I'll get Dash here. It's a great ability in its own right. We'll get one more willpower. And giving oil a quick aim is a good investment as well. That skill itself is good. It's quite balanced actually, surprisingly. I thought at the beginning it would be just too good but uh, it costs a lot of willpower and Euler is the second uh, backline uh, support so he is expected to kill stuff and giving him that other sniper rifle was a good idea Good, so he has a better sniper rifle now. In terms of weapon here, not really happy with that RS gun. Can we do laser weapons yet? Can we do those? Laser sniper rifle, laser pistol, Dimos AL magazine is that. Is that what they're using? Dimos, yeah. Okay. And is that a Dimos? 
Okay, well. Manufacturer. Demo Serial Magazine. The new Jericho assault rifles are also good. But generally speaking, it seems that the assault rifles, they are a really solid, steady base of damage, but they are not really good against armor. We'll get some more ammunition soon. Personal still needs some time to recover. Okay, fair enough. Bionic Fortress and Prisoner of Ice. Well, we're getting Prisoner of Ice soon. Very soon that third team here will be ready to rumble. It's just a matter of 12 hours. Research complete. New items. Acolyte Helmet. So that's their normal body armor. With an with a decent shotgun, I actually like the shotgun. It's okay. It is certainly nothing to write home about. Like I said, the melee weapons are better. I think. If you're anyways that close. Good. Trading here. 10 for 2. Mm, not good. 9 for 2. No, we're not trading under these conditions. Shortly moving over. Good, the team is ready again. Fantastic, we even got, got her the right gun. Need to name the new recruits once they are going on a mission. But we'll come to that in a bit in a bit. Research complete. We can now build a tier mode. Thank you, we have one because we stole it. Recruits are available and we got food, so might as well get them. Infiltrate. Oh, we got infiltrators. This guy has all of uh, the specialist abilities. Farsighted. I think we're going to go with uh, you. And we want to hire you into Frozen Circuit. Yes. Trade four for six, yes. Nine for two, yes.
I was missing something. Oh yeah, I I know. We wanted one more Deimos magazine. I'll just build one spare so that it's not always such a problem. And yeah, you. So where are the magazines now? Damn it, this is always so finicky. I know that I've manufactured them. It's not that difficult. Okay, there you go. You have a magazine, it is possible. Take the filter out. And there you go. There is your magazine. Wasn't that difficult, was it? Good, I'm starting to be happy and more content with the equipment the next thing that i would want to do is augmenting soldiers again of the prime team but that might need to wait a bit longer four for five eight for two is good Might need to create another base. I mean, Africa is fine at the moment. You're continuously in a difficult situation. I'm doing something wrong with the economy. Or I just want to do too many things at once. Two for twelve, take that immediately. Two for ten, and we're good. Good. We have mutations. Heavily armored legs. Wait a second. We can mutate? Phoenix Point. Coology Lab. Cybernetics Lab. Training Facility. Store. Living Quarters. Something is missing. So we're getting a second archaeology lab here. Oh, new aircraft available. Very good. We're putting that into frozen circuit, which means finally the guys in Frozen Circuit are ready. It's called Mandicore 3. Can I call the airships differently? Mandicore 1, Tiamat 2, Mandicore 3. Well, okay, let's start. 
This guy here is our technician and he has already gotten some soldier points. The action point cost of medkits um, is reduced by one. Immediate, immediate take, not even a, con uh, not even a thought. And that core ability absolutely seems to make sense as well. We're a bit weak when it comes to, uh, to strength, so might as well want to upgrade that. Holy, you look ugly, my dude. Wait, what? You Draco mech arms. Can I put them onto anyone? Okay. Armor. Uh, that is interesting. I think the this specific armor allows Eugerico Technician Body Armor. Remove Mind Fragger from Ally. Technician Repair restores 120 to a mechanical device. Restores 120 to the general hit points. And removes 50% paralysis to an allied unit. Yeah, it's a technician only thing. But it looks absolutely fantastic. Good, let's give it a bit more ammunition. Effective range, action points, ammo capacity. Not sure how much ammo everything would take. What kind of weapons can you use? Robotics and turret deployments. <coughs> Assault class, heavy class, sniper, berserker, priest, technician. Take that. And two magazines. We will need to create a couple of med kits. Okay. What does the Zeus grenade, grenade do? Less radius, effective range, action points. Looks like a pretty standard grenade to me. Fifty ten shred, and this thing here is EMP sixty. Okay, against robots. I see. That's not bad. But we want the VDM Defender. By the way, I want a second one of uh, these bad boys as well. But that can wait. Okay, back to the personal. He will get a weapon in the absence of a weapon. Or just giving him the most basic bitch weapon there is. Cool. I like what I'm seeing so far. And we're going to give everybody names, uh, but I'll do that afterwards. So here we got a sniper. 
We already know that quick aim is important. So that's a definite confirmation. And that overwatch cost reduction is super good as well. Too fragile. So we'll need extra points here. Armor. Well, we do have a problem. Because all of these armor parts are actually decreasing aim accuracy quite a bit. Well, not perfect, but it must do for now. Sniper rifle, we'll take independent sniper rifle is 100. Our Phoenix sniper rifle is 110. Extra ammo, great. Pistol, extra ammo, great. And that's a pretty basic bitch setup for her. We got an assault. We have an armor problem, guys. <laughs> like for real. Um, heavy. Well, luckily I got a heavy armor lying around here. Full Golem B set. Very good. And again, we're using basic equipment. Warcry, very important. I'm not sure if we go Brawler for now. Assault rifles aren't bad either, but we can't carry them yet. So, I'd rather add two points here. And go for Brawler. And then pick that. Well, it is what it is. Okay, well, I was about to say, uh, that should be just enough. We got an assault here and an assault here. And we got an infiltrator. Might give him... Infiltrator items. Got a crossbow, uh, just starts out, so has nothing uh, but they can use. And we're definitely missing two sets of armor. Yeah, not good. Um, I'll just accept what we have at the moment and give them the, <laughs> the sort of best armor that they could uh, carry and then pray that it's going to be enough. Armor, everything.
Uh, these are our errors, okay? One, two, a bit of that. Okay, we won't return far, that's a given. And I think we want close quarters specialist, but we're only at 140 hit points, so now nah, gotta play it safe. Upgrade those hit points. Armor. Good, we have a functioning team. Let's look at the positive. We have a functioning team. Might not be the team that we wanted, but it is the team that we've gotten. So now, off into the Manticore. What's your problem? Yeah, not proficient with the weapon. No shit, Sherlock. Um, and we got Mandicore 3. Move here and then we're going to go further to, so uh, to the south. 2 for 12 is a good trade. Yeah, two for ten. We don't need to do the two for ten. I think we're going to fly over here. Trait. Starting to explore now, we do have three ships that are exploring at the same time. Trading and for two, we're not going to do that. Okay, we're continuously interrupted by. Even more stuff. So that haven just begins to be built.
Gosh, this game is super finicky. Research complete. Okay, research. Capture one mine fragger. Oh, hell two cannon would be available for production. Yeah, I want that. And a new shotgun. I want that as well. And then afterwards, I want the biggest, fattest increase that we could get. My Fragger X. Okay, cool. Trait, uh, four for six, seems good. Two for 12, no. I have no more food, okay. Okay, that's the first scavenger mission with our new team. That should be interesting. What would what did we produce last? I think I had something that would have helped this team here. Oh yeah. Zeus grenade. Yeah, for now, not going to happen. Armor-wise, we didn't get anything new, no. We just gotta go in with the team as is and uh, try to do our best. Anyways, that's the end of today's episode. If you're trying to do your best, do me a favor and click the like button. If you're successful, it might help the video. So, talking about doing the best, I wish you all the best for the next two days and see you soon. Bye-bye.